Simanawe, Mohamed Simanawe. Sisi ya mafuna. Sita ikame, faita ikame. Sita ikame, faita ikame. Sita ikame, faita ikame. Comrades, our Tladion call is that political power without economic power is meaningless. At the center of this is our seven cardinal pillars. We therefore are at the war and battle to achieve total economic freedom in our lifetime. Comrades, 30 years ago, we said there will no longer be GBV against our women. Today, it is worsened. 30 years ago, we said we'll fight poverty. Today is worse. Therefore, when they come to us, we must be ready for them. When they say, today is Freedom Day, you must tell them, your freedom is still coming. Because 1994 was a missed opportunity. When they say to you, why do you say 1994? It's a missed opportunity. You must say, what is freedom without water? What is freedom without houses? What is freedom without flushing toilet? What is freedom without access to quality education and a decolonized education? What is freedom without health care? What is freedom without jobs? What is freedom without basic electricity? What is freedom without land? What is freedom without sanitary pads? What is freedom if you go to bed with an empty stomach? What is freedom without proper roads? What is freedom if you are still giving birth in a shack because in the informal settlements there are no rules? What we were correct 10 years ago to say freedom political freedom without economic freedom is meaningless but somebody can ask the question why are you campaigning for political power if you say political power without economic power is meaningless we want political power to use it decisively and purposefully to turn the means of production and transfer it into the hands of our people. So, ladies and gentlemen, the people of South Africa, members of the Central Command Team, our battle cry for this year, our election theme for this year is our land and jobs now stop load shedding. Our land and jobs now stop load shedding. Our manifesto, it started with consultation processes. It's not a manifesto that was drafted from the air-conditioned offices by us as leadership. It's the manifesto of the people. Therefore, we are here to commit to the people to say we are going to respond to you on the day after elections. This is what we are going to do. But one thing for sure is that our commitments here today are solid. Our commitments today is a radical governance where we are going to be deploying the best of the best. And you can see how we have transformed our deployment. We now have acquired a lot of skill. We have acquired a lot of experience. Therefore, we are ready for government and we commit to the people of the entire South Africa and even in Africa, because we are a Africanist movement who are going to entrench the change and transform the way Africa is uh, uh, right now operating. The reason why I'm with the EFF is because I fully agree with the EFF's ideological stance. 
with the seven cardinal pillars of the economic freedom fighters, which stands for true economic freedom in our lifetime, for us to have the return of the land to the people, for a strong government which makes sure that our state-owned enterprises are properly managed by government and for us to have an economy which is there for the people of this country to empower the people of this country. The only truly economic emancipatory party which is strong on the left progressive side is the EFF and it makes sense for me as someone who's always been committed to radical economic transformation, to have joined the EFF, and I'm truly feeling home. Comrades, the EFF participated in the 2024 elections with the sole purpose of winning the citizenship. We are in the 2024 elections for nothing else but to win. This is the weapon that will be used against the enemy of our revolution. Fellow fighters, this book is 265 pages. Let's ensure that we download it. Let's ensure that everybody gets to know about what is he in the revolution. Amanda! Amanda!